It is a missing mother mystery that captivated the country and the tri state. Today marks two years since Jennifer Dulos was last seen. Her body was never found. The Connecticut mother of five disappeared without a trace after she dropped her kids off at school. She is presumed dead. Her estranged husband, charged in her murder, also found dead after taking his own life, but maintaining his innocence all along. NBC Connecticut Shannon Miller spoke exclusively with Jennifer's divorce attorney about the law named after Jennifer that could help protect women. It's a sad time for many. Um, she was a wonderful person and a beautiful person. Even two years after her disappearance, divorce attorney Reuben Midler continues to maintain attorney client privilege with missing New Canaan mother of five, Jennifer Dulos. After the initial orders were entered, uh, Jennifer decided to uh, change counsel and uh, asked our firm to represent her. But Midler has plenty to say about the legislation up this session. Senate Bill 1091, first introduced as Jennifer's law, aimed at changing Connecticut's domestic violence laws. What's your initial takeaway from looking at this legislation? Well, I think the goal of the legislation might be laudable, but the execution, in my opinion, of the uh, actual intent uh, needs to be worked on. Senate Bill 1091. This is a game changer. The bill, co sponsored by Senator Alex Kasser, who represents Jennifer's district, calls it groundbreaking domestic violence legislation two years in the making. That can't wait any longer. Dozens and dozens of survivors started contacting me and telling me their stories and saying, My situation is just like hers. The reform includes nearly a dozen new statutes. Among them would include, for the first time, coercive control as a form of domestic violence and Connecticut. It's defined in part as controlling, regulating, or monitoring a household or family member's movements, communications, daily behavior, and economic resources, along with depriving them of basic necessities or isolating them from family or loved ones. The law would allow victims subject to coercive control to file restraining orders against their abusers. This is truly a life saving measure to update our laws so that the full spectrum of abuse, physical and non physical, will be recognized. But Miller says the reform could open the door for some to take advantage of the system and falsely allege economic coercion. He says true family law reform would mean putting more judges on the bench to tend to an overly burdened system. If you could have your case assigned individually to one judge, that may cut out a lot of the sort of ability of people to play the game. How many times have you tried to file a restraining order against him? I believe three times. For victims like this woman whose identity we're concealing out of safety concerns, the legislation could mean the difference in a years long battle for protection. It's so hard. I've been going through this for so long. So long. And every day it's a run. For her and hundreds of others. We can't have another Jennifer. You can't open up the news and see this. It doesn't matter what town, what city, this has to stop.